Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today, Syrian Latakia. Once very common, and in very many English pipe blends, now almost vanishingly rare. Spoken of with reverence by people in the pipe smoking community, and we're going to try it today in this edition of Pure Pipe Varietals, Trying Pure Syrian Latakia. That's right. I have a jar of pure Syrian Latakia here. This is from our good friend Chad Curtis. He sent a very big care package with all sorts of amazing blends. And in that package was this jar of Welliver's Syrian Latakia from a jar sealed since April 14th, 2018. And because Syrian Latakia has been off the market for so long, I think around 2009, 2010 was the last year that we got any significant amount of Latakia from Syria. This is obviously much older than 2018. Now, we've spoken about Latakia a lot on this channel, and I even did a pure pipe variety video on Latakia, and that was Cyprian Latakia. So if you want to know a little bit more about the history of Latakia, what it does in a blend, the differences between Syrian Latakia, which I have here, and the Latakia from Cyprus, I will link to one of my videos somewhere in the corner here and that will be the pure pipe varietal Cyprian Latakia video. That'll give you a little bit more background information. But the short version is, Latakia was originally produced in the town of Latakia in Syria. And it has a special way of being made. It's basically a smoke-cured tobacco with various varieties of tobacco actually being grown. Um, there is some controversy over what varieties were used for the leaf that was turned into Syrian Latakia. Because of all the unrest in Syria over the past decade or so, and various sanctions and import-export restrictions, things like that, Syrian Latakia is no longer exported from Syria to the rest of the world for use in pipe blends. And so Cyprus makes its own version of Latakia, which is a bit different, and people talk about that different character. They think of Syrian Latakia as being perhaps a bit more mellow, a bit more nuanced, and Cyprian Latakia as being perhaps a bit more bold, a bit raw, jagged-edged. Syrian Latakia was available in a few blends even up until a few years ago, probably the most famously in the MacBaron HH Vintage Syrian blend, um, it's pretty much impossible to get now. I don't know if there are any blends left that still have Syrian Latakia, and if they did have Syrian Latakia, it was Syrian Latakia from years ago, stuff that had been in circulation for a very long time or stored for a very long time. And this, Welliver's Pure Syrian Latakia, as I mentioned, is probably from at least 2010, 2009. So we have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna be trying smoking a bowl of this just straight, but we have to remember that it's not going to taste the way Syrian Latakia would have tasted in the early 2000s. If you got it in a blend, it would have been fresher, it would have been newer. So we have to keep all that in mind. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take a whiff. It's well sealed. And if I can just show you the blackness of that Latakia there, that's what you would expect from a Latakia, even Cyprian Latakia. To my eyes, hmm, I was gonna say maybe I see a little bit more brown in here, but it's probably just as black, maybe not quite as black as pure Cyprian Latakia that I've seen. Let me take a whiff. Typically with Latakia, you get a really leathery, smoky, campfire kind of aroma. Let's see how the Syrian is. Hmm, that smells delicious. It still smells like Latakia, it still has that smoky campfire kind of scent. Maybe not quite as leathery, and definitely not as bold, not as strong as Cyprian Latakia. I had that jar of pure Cyprian Latakia that we did on one of the earlier episodes of Pure Pipe Varietals, and it was more kind of hit you in the face with the aroma. This is definitely more subdued, but still very distinctly Latakia. So, I have a beautiful pipe here. This was actually provided to me by our dear 
departed friend Peter Straub. It is a beautiful Costello pipe. I'm going to load it up with this pure Syrian Latakia, and I'm going to tell you what I think. All right, gang, I'm only doing about half a bowl because I don't really feel like smoking an entire bowl of Syrian Latakia, and I don't want to waste it either because I might use this to blend into some other uh, pipe tobaccos at some point in the future. We'll see. Maybe I'll make my own little English blend with Syrian Latakia. But we're going to put the cap back on. Half a bowl in my Costello pipe here. It's a little moist, not too moist, I don't think. Let me just pack it down a little bit tighter. All right, gang, let's see. Well, that is really interesting. Obviously, I've had blends that have Syrian Latakia in them in the past. This is... It's more distinct than I thought it would be. It's more distinct from Cyprian Latakia than I thought it would be. It still tastes like Latakia. It's in the same family, and I would say immediate family. It's a brother or a sister or a son or daughter of Cyprian Latakia, or I guess mother or father of Cyprian Latakia. Very, very closely related. But it's so fragrant, and it doesn't have that raw, kind of ragged edge that you get from Cyprian Latakia a lot. Even in the aroma in the room, it's so fragrant, so there's almost kind of a mentholated flavor to this as well, which is really interesting. It, like I said, it's pretty old. It's at least probably 12 years old, maybe 13 years old. So that's going to take, a. if you had Cyprian Latakia and you put it in a jar for 10, 12 years, it would take some of the edge off of that as well. But I think the age isn't the only thing that, will, that would account for the fact that this is more mellow. Um, just not as bold, not as raw in character. Let me get it going again. The smoke is so rich and creamy, um, and it really fills the mouth. I don't know if I can explain this properly, but you can feel it in there. It's like a meal when it's in your mouth. I could almost happily smoke an entire bowl of this, and I don't think I would say the same about Cyprian Latakia. It's still maybe a little bit too much of a good thing. I love Latakia as a condiment component in a blend, but just having a full pipe, eh, probably not my favorite thing, but with the Syrian Latakia, it's mellow enough and kind of nuanced enough, articulate, I guess. The flavor is very articulate that I could have an entire bowl and it wouldn't be a problem. I think I would actually enjoy it. In spite of the fact that it's more subdued than Cyprian Latakia, it's still very rich. There's a kind of a hint of caramel in there somewhere. And like I said, a slightly mentholated sort of flavor. You get the leather, you get the campfire, but like I said, it's not as raw, not as in your face. Really delicious. This is really good. Obviously, the age is going to have something to do with that, but with Latakia, usually the more age you get, um, you get diminishing returns after a while. You're not going to make the blend any better or the component any better after about 10 years, probably even less than that, as opposed to a Virginia. So I can only assume that this would have tasted even better when it was freshly jarred, but this is really good. It's really distinct from Cyprian Latakia. I'm not even going to say that it's better than pure Cyprian Latakia because they're a little different. They have a different character. They will do similar things in a blend, I think, but I guess it's really a matter of personal preference. Some blends, I think, would really benefit from the raw, kind of wild nature of some Cyprian Latakias, and some would do better with the more nuanced, mellower version. Cyprian Latakia. Unfortunately, we don't really have that choice anymore, at least for now. Maybe sometime in the future, they will resume exports of Syrian Latakia. Only time will tell, but for now, I'm really pleased to have had the chance to try this pure Syrian Latakia from Wellivers, provided by our good friend Chad Curtis. Quite interesting, quite delicious. If you have a chance to try Cyprian Latakia by itself, or especially Syrian Latakia, you should take it. 
it is quite interesting and I think it will improve your appreciation for other blends that have these component tobaccos in them. Gang, thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things, and I'll see you later. Hmm. Delicious.